mesmerizing mornings amazing afternoons enthusiastic evenings and never ending nights couldn't get what i was saying let me give you some more details gang of friends group class punks proposals rejections parties night outs never ending gossips unlimited imitations raggings anti raggings tours and travels precious days farewells exams results interviews extracurricular activities in short a rainbow full of colors i'm sure now you would have got what i was referring yes in the college days hello listeners welcome to yet another interesting episode of our podcast giridas gardi today we have someone who is smart silly talented talkative honest and above all a pragmatic person carving out a niche for herself wherever she goes is something that makes her unique she is one of those amazing girls who have truly enjoyed their college lives and today she is here with us to talk, take us back to those good old days with her experiences on this note let me welcome the guest of our today's episode none other than pratyusha hi pratyusha welcome to giridas gardi how are you doing today hi giridas i'm good thanks how are you yeah i'm fine thank you so much great pratyusha just one question before we start how do you feel like being a guest on this podcast i feel like a celebrity honestly oh that's so cute <laughs> you are indeed a celebrity today <laughs> <laughs> thank you awesome uh, so pratyusha tell me what are college days all about for you mm. when we talk about college days i i remember all the silly fights ragging bunking classes and the ball i remember canteen so it's always fun and food <laughs> <laughs> okay um, so what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you say college days canteen <laughs> because that's where we always spend our time like lot of time we bunked college uh, usually people bunk classes to go to a movie or something but we always went to canteen to eat food <laughs> or <laughs> or finish our records on time okay so what i understood is you basically you are a foodie <laughs> yeah kind of <laughs> great even i am a foodie <laughs> the high five yeah i just love to try new foods um and i love chicken everyone knows it actually <laughs> great uh, so how was your experience when you were in the first year of the college as a fresher mm, i'm sure everyone felt the same way yeah, i was little scared little excited uh but also i was looking forward to the next four years because uh i was like dreaming about how to make new friends and how the next four years are going to be especially the first year because i was more worried about ragging and stuff but luckily i did not go through a lot of ragging <laughs> so so um yeah i was excited and scared at the same time initially okay uh, so now that you were talking about ragging let me put my next question in this way what's your say on ragging in general Mm. healthy ragging is always fun when i say healthy ragging it's like you know our uh, seniors coming and asking us to do uh some like singing songs or proposing for fun that is also okay to me uh, but the worst things are like truth or dare where you they put you on the spot and make you think um, make make you do things that you really don't want to so that try to make you because you really won't be doing those stuff anyway but um going too far um that is what i hate about dragging but like i said all the dragging i went through was like really fun <laughs> it was like in class it was seniors and then in bus again bus seniors though they are not from our same department so yeah it was fun for me and i i 
it is good because you know about your seniors you know um eventually you become good friends and then next three years you will be traveling with them seeing them every day almost every day um and whenever you need help they'll be the first ones to help you because you actually basically interacted almost every day in in terms of tagging so oh great uh, i have to say that you are very much lucky that you enjoyed ragging <laughs> <laughs> yeah because my ragging was mostly like um say a b c in a, 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 like alphabet in reverse um and then sing a song or uh like tell my crush names or something and then <laughs> um <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then uh, i i think actually two or three days later i started sitting with my seniors and ragging the other juniors <laughs> so yes it was fun for me oh wow you racked juniors uh, uh, although yes. you were a junior <laughs> yeah <laughs> great uh, so pratyusha uh, share with us two of the best memories that you had in your entire college life Mm. <laughs> hard to choose when you say two of the best memories because like entire college is like really memorable right so um so but <laughs> hold on uh, the first best memory i had um is like we always used to play uno cards and rummy in class or in bus or in college buses um so that is one of the best memories we uh, our vice principal even caught us once and took our cards luckily oh. she caught two no cards so she left us if she had really got the playing cards then would we would have been in like a lot of trouble <laughs> and second one is trying to finish up our record sitting in canteen on the day of submission okay we always always used to wait uh, like put hold on records until the last minute and on the day of submission we used to go bunk class sit in canteen order food and finish our records <laughs> every year we never learned from it every year we did the same thing oh <laughs> <laughs> great so now that we had uh, your memories let's see what mm-hmm. were your achievements during your college days um <laughs> achievements that tough because um i mean real life achievements like scoring higher percentage uh, percentage and stuff that is not me definitely not me um so when you say achievements i'd say i made a lot of friends i learned life um we, we usually do it every day because we learn uh, we get to meet different people even today um new people strangers and we learn something or other from them um that is one so yeah when you say achievements i don't really think of anything except for um <laughs> if you call scoring my husband counts then yes that is one achievement okay <laughs> okay uh, so were there any hurdles that you experienced in your college life uh, if yes what were they and how did you overcome them um not no not in the college because i was always surrounded with the most amazing people um every year um most of them changed like i had different friends in each year but but when you talk about um the people who stayed with me for all the four years those are amazing and i'm still in contact with them and they i never had to go through any bad situations or hurdles during college yeah i'm lucky to say that <laughs> wow that's really good to know yeah <laughs> maybe <laughs> uh, at that moment maybe i may have felt that it is like a really big thing and no one must have ever felt that way but then looking back today uh, after 10 years if i look back and think about if there was anything that um it was like a worst day for me nothing really i enjoyed each and every moment i was scared maybe at that moment when something 
uh, when I was going through tough times, but not really. Now, when I look back, I don't see anything as tough times. Oh, great. Well, uh, <laughs> now let's go uh, go behind another concept, the night outs. So night outs with one day batting mm-hmm. just before the day of exams is a common thing that most of us would have done in our college lives. So what's your mm-hmm. say on this? Um, to be honest, I never did night outs. My way of writing the exams was, um, they used to be my very good friend. Um, we used to go in the same college bus every day and... Uh, his stop uh, was like, I think, three stops after mine. So I used to wait for him to get on the bus. And as soon as he gets on the bus, he he used to teach one question from me or one topic for um, uh, to me from each chapter. There, there used to be eight chapters and we used to get uh, one question from each chapter. And then um, three were optional. Like you have to only attempt five. Um, so he used to teach uh, eight topics from e- one from each chapter. And that's how I used to learn and go and write those topics. Like I know, I, I mean, obviously uh, each question from uh, used to be from each chapter, right? So I used to just um, remember the topic, go and write that one. So it was never night out, night out for me. It was like on the day of exam. I I used to uh, remember something from the morning discussion in bus and that's how I I wrote all my exams. (laughs) Now you know why I don't have any achievements. (laughs) uh, That's uh, like pretty simple. Uh, You made the job easier. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you don't have to worry about it much. You'll get it. Everyone gets it. (laughs) Oh, great. Uh, So... And now tell me, what are the suggestions that you would like to give for the current students in college to come off with flying colors? Mm, see, one thing I can say is marks will never, never um, determine how knowledgeable you are um, or how intelligent or how smart you are. So because on the day of exam, maybe you fall ill and you won't be able to write it properly. But you know how much you learned and you know, you will remember it forever. So on a serious note, that's what I would say. And on regular life note, I would say enjoy it as much as you can while you're still at it. And eat a lot of food, make lots of new friends, learn life. Um, That's all I can say. Do your best. Wow, great. So just one message for our listeners with respect to our today's concept, college days. Um, I think the previous answer really, really gives the same message. Um, that's what I think. Um, so I, I would still say the same, uh, same thing. And the only thing, if I look back and I, I would do over in my college life is take a trip go um, enjoy with your friends like make a trip like uh, the in quotes like in quotes educational tour you know what I mean we all take it in third year we, we say education tour or uh, there used to be some other name, industrial tour but we used to go to Uti <laughs> I don't know what industries are there in Uti but that is one of the educational tours and Goa is one of the educational tours. So you all should take those trips. <laughs> so you oh. you will have lots of fun. So if I had to do something um, back in college, I would have done this. I did not oh. get a chance to go on a trip. So yeah, I regret that one. Oh, great. So all you want to say is just make the best use of the time that you have during college days yep. and enjoy thoroughly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for that message, Pratyusha. Uh, all right. So moving on, it's time for us to get into our next segment that is the rapid fire round. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so you don't have to be, uh, go behind any logic or you don't have to give any explanation, of course, unless asked. It's just okay. for fun. 
it's completely okay. a fun segment yeah okay uh, my first question to you pratyusha in the rapid fire round school or college school ironically even though this is a college <laughs> podcast i would say school <laughs> okay uh, junior or senior junior okay uh, classroom or laboratory lab okay uh, student or lecturer student okay friend or lover i would say none but for the audience i would say friend <laughs> okay why do you want to go for none um we will have only very few friends um that we will really share everything even after so many years um i would say i think eventually your spouse becomes your best friend true so in my case at least that's what happened okay yeah correct uh, so my next question to you uh, college canteen or college library do you really want me to answer that after all this <laughs> obviously i know canteen? the answer <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, okay first bench or last bench last bench okay the so stage drama or stage dance none i'm really bad at both okay you want to be the audience yes okay great uh, precious day or farewell day oh precious okay so my last question to you pratyusha in fact uh, the one that's my favorite let's see what you're going to say giridhar or pratyusha i'll just be nice and say giridhar <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much for giving me <laughs> you made my day <laughs> all right uh, thank you so much pratyusha for joining us today we look forward to having you once again on this podcast in future definitely i would love to be uh, great thank you so much once again for joining us sure i would like to share one more thing uh, one of the memory though um from my college i used to have this nickname in college where everyone used to call me fm oh. the reason was fm um devices were really um in trend at that time when i was in college um so they used to sell like like onions on road side so i used to have this fm device and in my c class um c language class i used to always listen to fm in the last bench and then once my um c miss she caught me and after that for the rest of the year every day i had to stand up in her class as soon as she entered the class <laughs> so <laughs> i was pretty sure i was going to fail c lab but good for me <laughs> she was on a maternity leave at that time and someone else came so i passed it oh you are <laughs> lucky again <laughs> <laughs> yes and i used to eat in class and listen to fm all the time and so everyone used to call me fm oh okay <laughs> great then i think uh, you are thoroughly enjoying this podcast experience as well now yeah because i got to um recollect so many things what happened in the four, uh, in those four years especially um that i did not get a chance to really uh, look back to all these days okay <laughs> great uh, thank you so much for joining us today thank you for having me here first okay Uh, well that's it for today listeners i'll be back next week with another wonderful guest don't forget to like comment share and subscribe see you